It was 1928. Paulie and me were made members of the Baluccio gang those days. It was a bad time in America. Crooked politicians, slumping stock prices, and above all, prohibition. The only way you could make it was either by having good connections or else by taking care of your own business, just like we did. Bootlegging, that's where the real money was. Of course, you had to watch your back because there was always another wise guy ready to put your light out just to have his own piece of the pie. Some people call this gangsters. Well, I call it business. The only difference is, instead of a pen, we use a gun. Lose the piece, Frank. It's over. Listen to me, Vinny. I swear I got nothing to do with it. You got the wrong guy. You're freaking lying. We know it, you. We saw you leaving Costelli's bar tonight. What were you doing there, Frank? No, no, you're wrong. It must have been someone else. Then what were you doing at Mr. Bellucci's brewery tonight? Nothing, nothing. I was just checking there. If nothing bad was going down, you know, just to make sure. To make sure what, Frank? I swear if you're lying to us, we're going to get really messy with you. You understand me, Frank? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. This is the third brewery we lose in two months. I'm starting to believe some people don't like the taste of our whiskey very much. That was the only freaking brewery we had left. So if we don't get the Canadian shipments very soon, we're out of business, you hear me? All of the Canadian shipments have been caught by police raids, boss. There isn't a single one that got through. What? How'd that happen? Uh, Tony forgot to pay off the cops. That stupid punk! Have him whacked and make it messy. Ah, uh, we can't, boss. You already had him whacked last month. Oh, yeah. That's probably why he didn't pay him. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, if we don't get some booze, we're gonna hit rock bottom. And that doesn't count as an expression for you idiots, capiche? <sighs> Frankie must have been working for the Costelli gang all along. If they mess with us, we'll mess with them. Go to their liquor storage and take all their booze. Anyone who wants to be tough guy, ice them. There's nobody here. Why would they leave the place unguarded? Forget about it. It makes our job a lot easier. Go get the truck. Thank you. 
Okay, let's go. We'll send some guys to pick up the rest later. This is super nice to taste from the whiskey, boy. Sure thing, Luigi. We're here to pick up the payment for the goods. <laughs> Take it easy, boys. Let me finish this drink first, okay? Jeez, Paulie, remind me never to introduce you to one of my associates again. What, so now this is my fault? The, the, the guy lost his freaking head. Yeah, well, it's all over the place now. I wonder what happened to him. Ah, uh, that's pretty obvious, don't you think? I meant before you blew his head off. Oh. Hey, 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 maybe it had something to do with our booze. Then what about the people in the bar? They drank it too. <laughs> Just get rid of that crap before I get rid of you. Hmm. I assume that blank expression on your face means you don't know how. Here, stick to what you're good at. Pay a visit to Costelli's Brewery and Luigi's Bar and make sure you destroy all the evidence. Now go! <laughs> Where do we set the bomb? How about in here? Okay, I'll put the dynamite in place. You go set the fuse. Sure thing, Vinny. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yourself. Damn toilet. And don't you throw those damn cigars in the toilet again, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, whatever, mama. Is it over? Oh man, I bet we're gonna get blamed for this one. Yeah, well, at least we got rid of the evidence. Yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here. I didn't like this stinking town anyway. All this running and shooting has made me thirsty. Come on, let's find the bar. I still wonder why they kept coming after us. Ah, forget about it. I need a drink. <laughs> 